here again we will follow the same instructions we will select antenna then planner antenna time domain then default values will be as it is set now we have the main window First of all, we will choose the substrate. Material will be Rogers 5 8. Five eight eight zero lossy material we will choose so that we may get exact results. The value of W is seventeen point seven three. That is the broad dimension of the SI W. Total length is one seventy six point two eight, and the height of the substrate, as already mentioned in previous slide, it was zero point five zero eight. So this is a substrate material. Then on the substrate material, we'll apply a top conducting layer and a bottom conducting layer with same dimensions as those of substrate. Now here since it is a conducting layer so we will choose PEC. The thickness of the copper will be 0.035 mm. So you can see at the bottom side conducting layer is applied. On the top. On the top, we will apply a small conducting layer so that bead lines can also be applied. That is why I have done plus 50.14 at both the sides. Then we will apply the fade line. Width of the fade line is denoted as WE. Since our structure is symmetrical about x-axis, so we can simply uh, do its mirror image, the mirror image of the feed. So you can see the two feed lines. Now we have to connect a taper, taper transmission line between the SIW and our main micro strip feed line. So for designing the taper, we will take extrude the shape in the form of taper. You have to properly choose the dimensions.
these are the dimensions again we will form a mirror image of these this taper Now once the structure is ready, we will join all the parts, that is the top layer taper 1, taper 2, feed 1, feed 2. Now we have to drill the via holes. So for drilling the via holes, we will choose the shape cylinder. As mentioned in the previous slide, radius and uh, x center, y center were already given. So from there we will take the values. Outer radius is designated as r and inner radius as 0. You can also uh, cut the substrate, uh, cut the via holes from the substrate and also you can simply insert. Both will give us same results. And since it is from top to bottom so we have taken z min from minus t to h plus t so radius is 1.65 which is half of the diameter now since one via hole is generated we can transform and create multiple via holes Here P is denoting a spacing between the consecutive via holes that is 4.95 mm. We'll make the repetition factor as 13. Fourteen. So once these via holes are created we can mirror them onto the other axis. Now this is our SIW in the ready condition. Now in order to see the output, we need to apply the ports at both the ends. First of all, we will select the face, then we will apply a waveguide port. In the similar way, we will apply the waveguide port at the second end also. Now this is our waveguide, SIW waveguide with ports. Now in order to see the results, we need to simulate this structure. So we will assign the frequency 7 GHz to 18 GHz or you can simply take 15 GHz because we are designing it at 9.35 GHz. So setup solver will start.
now once this simulation will be over i'll uh, discuss about the results in next video thank you for watching